introduce it to Linwood. But up, 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 up! I'm having, having it. it. Finally, we're here. <laughs>
farmers got all the farmers' data into a spreadsheet. Karen, our mentor, helps link that spreadsheet to the point so we can query the data. The GIS maps give us a visual understanding of the data we and the farmers collect. The strength of GIS is that it allows us to ask all sorts of questions so that we can begin to understand the spatial connection of where we live. I have lots of questions buzzing around in my head. The first time I saw the years of horny toad data represented on a paper map, I asked, do you think those dots are the same horny toad over and over, or are they different ones? That is a great question, said Mrs. Peterson. Maybe we can use the GIS to help us answer that question. Mrs. Peterson and Karen showed us how to do queries using our field. Here are a couple of queries I did. I'm now querying the database to see how many horny toads my granny saw during August. You can see a total of 38 horny toads were found. Now I'm going to ask if my granny saw more than one horny toad at a time. This will tell us if he has seen babies rather than the same horny toad over and over. You can see a total of 13 horny, 13 locations where my granny saw more than one horny toad at a time. I guess he's probably seeing whole families of horny toads. Karen says I'm doing algebra, but it seems easy to me. I like the challenge of the adopt a farmer project from the beginning. The JS software made sense to me, and Mrs. Peterson gave me a special project while I was in fourth grade. Since then, I have been making farm field atlases for our cooperating farmers. They pay me for the work I do, which makes it really nice. This is how you make a farm field atlas. First, I will take an exported picture of all of the farmer's fields all of the farmers fields right now you can see Tom Peters' farm fields in red and with one field highlighted in a different color as the focus for the picture I'll then zoom into that zoom into a close-up of that field and take another export after I take exports for all of the fields the farmer put into the JS system, I add the information the farmer requested, or I move them onto a PowerPoint and then add the information the farmer requested. Here you can see an example of one farm field atlas picture that I did. Recently, I got the idea of helping my dad's family to sort out some land use issues. I will be working with my grandfather's six brothers and sisters to help map the family farmland near Spokane. I will be using the JS software to show the land's current uses and model possible future uses. I will be also including locations of buildings, fences, water sources, and grazing areas. In addition, I will be working with a JS mentor, probably Charlie Fitzpatrick, to help develop this into my senior project. When I think of JS, I think of using JS to analyze spatial data, like taking what you can do with a simple Venn diagram and exploding it to do something. This year, Watermill Elementary will publish the fourth edition of our field guide of common species. Our school will also add a technology class to the high school offerings. Mr. Grillo, who's seated at the table over there, is our third grade teacher. He's become a partner in these projects and a leader in our school, and he will be teaching the high school technology class. So we're very excited about that. It will be a hands-on class for juniors and seniors and will include GIS projects. Zach Kruger will be offering technical support. <laughs> we will continue to find ways to integrate field work and technology at all levels. We want to incorporate GIS into all subjects so students will, act, will access GIS whenever they need it, just like they do the internet. And now you will hear more from Karen about the plan 
for how that will allow this to happen in more schools. Miles, how do you feel that the presentation went today? Uh, smooth. And Lexi? Great! How about you, Ethan? Awesome. Well, on the bright side, no one died. A hard day's work gives me a pain. Food isn't the best, so I'm starving. Pasta. I school it! I'm keeping you! Well, you can see, choice select, herbs, directly from the Luscious so Garden, it is. chicken oil shrimp. Chicken shrimps. Fish and chips! Bacon cheese.